what would you tell them? What would you say is, is the most beneficial about that? Oh, well, I don't know. Everybody has a different thing. I mean, so it used to be that people said, oh, I guess you lose five pounds, right? But it's, lo it's not about losing weight. It's not even about getting fast or good. It's really about the change within yourself, the realization of your own capability. Of, of for me to go out, bust stress, get creative, relieve problems, or, um, get over any kind of grief or aggression, it goes, you know, it's running. And, you, and then you kind of, you know, solidify this down and get a, a sense of what you want to accomplish and what you want to create that in. It's good, it's, really, it's an amazing sense Yeah. Keeps you in shape too, you know? Yeah. But, but Kel and I, I tell you the truth is, is every day I'm not even now. Years. I have a victory under my belt every day. Nobody can take away from me. And, and it's so simple, easy, and cheap. Yeah. So, two more questions. Uh, so, you're from this area. You're, I think a lot of people know your name but don't know that you're from the Northern Virginia area. You grew up here, you went to Marshall High School. You know, your parents lived here for a long time. What is, you know, what is this area? I guess we're too young. Well, I think wherever you were raised is always a good one, for sure. And even now that I live in the Hudson Valley, half the year in the New Zealand, the other half of the year is my husband's Kiwi. And um, so you know, we're global, but, but it's kind of where you began running, where you first you know, learned to read, and that was here. And, um, and I feel very familiar. And, and to come back, and as I say, after 45 years of running, one of my first ever races is great. Awesome. Yeah, so the, you were, the last time you ran this was 1997. So this is the first time you've been back since then. Okay, and then, uh, so I mentioned this in my article, and I thought that was interesting, but you, you mentioned that Comrades Marathon was still, <laughs> was still on your budget. <laughs> You're going to get me a divorce. I swear, you put that in the paper. You know. My husband said, oh my God, I thought this was uh, about the was the end of it. Now you're going to go I, yeah, so, I mean, you know, is that something in the future, you think? Or is that just I felt like I was to go. Get ahead of that crazy thing. Hey, you're never too old to be an athlete. You're never too old to start becoming an athlete at any age. I mean, people in their 90s can even 100 run. And as long as I can do it, I think I'd like to try. So, you know, why not? You might, you might run the comrades. Yeah, I might run the comrades. You heard it here first, right? I got, I got Boston in two weeks, but yeah, that goes okay. I'm going to do in this in the mall. I've never run New York. Yeah. I won New York, mm -hmm. but I've never run in the streets. Okay? And so, hey, comrades, the longer it goes, the better I get. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then, so I guess lastly, how, you know, I'm sure a lot of runners out there, so, you know, uh, female runners, you know, young runners who might want to get in touch with Catherine, what's the best, the best way to get in touch with Well, look, I think the best way is to, to join us at 261 Fearless. You know, join the club, become a member, go to 261fearless.org, join there, and then there's a communications network there that we all communicate on. There's a platform. So that would be the best. We'd love to have you there. Right. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks, Kelly.